All right, everybody. We're here for another booster box opening. So what we're gonna be doing is probably Outlaws Without Rejection, the play boosters here. We've been watching people open it so much and there's uh, supposed to be like 15 mythics inside every single booster box. So that's gonna be insane. So I know like all, all these things are good, right? And I understand why it is like that. Cause this uh, March of the Machine, there is the Aftermath set. And then for Thunder's Injunction, there's supposed to be an Aftermath set, but then they just combined them into it. So it's like two sets in one, I think. So that's why you get like uh, twice the Mythics. And then with uh, Blue Burrow, the next set, the, it's not two sets combined. So there's like all the all the special guests and everything, all the breaking news. Well, I guess it's kind of like uh, three different sets in one, right? You got the big score. You got the break in news, and then the base set, and then all those wanted posters and everything. There, there's so many different sets in this uh, one booster box here. And I know I was watching people, they're, they're getting like uh, two mythics per pack. Two mythics per pack, plus a rare. So there's like three things. Where is it? Like a uh, blue burrow. It's like uh, almost every single pack just has one rare. That's it, right? It's just like a draft pack. Because uh, I know Butter has is two. And three, we we're also watching people over that. They also get like three, three, two to three rares, like every single pack. I bet this would be pretty good too. I know Midnight Hunt's gonna be the worst one because it's just a draft box. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is take this thing here Outlaws of Thunder Junction, play booster, then open it and see if we actually do, do you get like uh, 15 mythics. So, saddle up for a wild ride because I think we're opening this thing. All right, so we have the box open here. So like all the wrapper off and everything. And then we already have the top open because oh, top takes forever, forever to figure out how to open. So we get this thing. It's kind of like Blue Burrow, I guess. Blue Burrow gave the same thing. Oh, this that's it where we got the uh, wanted posters. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so we, we picked up a whole bunch of uh, all those booster boxes. They gave us the wanted poster for these things. So, are the LDs do have 14 cards as well, right? I'm wondering, it used to be 15 cards, right? But now it's just 14 cards. And the artwork, something we learned about the artwork is there's only one artwork. That's it. I don't know why, I don't know why there's only one artwork on the booster boxes when they're supposed to be like three or four or something. Maybe they changed it. Maybe it's cheaper. So we'll, I don't know, I guess, I guess we can just take this wrap off here, right? And then throw us here. Uh, then we have, what is it, 36 packs? 36 packs. Uh, now to sit here and open them up, see what's inside, and see if we indeed do get 15 Mythic Rares. All right. So what we're probably going to do is just start with, like, uh, six packs, and then just do another six packs, and... Then we do that one, two, three, four, five, six times. Then we can see what's inside here. So we already opened up the uh, packs. All we have to do is just take these off here. Then we could see what the first card is, which is, I guess, just the tokens or the art card. So I guess here, I guess here we just get a whole bunch of tokens. Uh, we got like a one art card. So we're probably going to start from the left here. Uh, we're going to see what we get. So we get the token and then the lad. So, like, so many different sets. We already get, like, a uh, rare there, right? Then here's the foil. So, I guess it's kind of like the, uh, like, like the, uh, Blip Earl Play Booster. Except that they have, uh, th this extra set, right? Oh, yeah, because we get two rares already. In Blip Earl, just for, like, a uh, one rare, that's it. So, we get two rares. So, I guess we should, like, uh, put, put them here, right? So, the rares, they do look pretty cool with everything. The Art Mage's Charm. Because the we're we're also doing this just so we kind of uh see the cards here and eventually eventually you might even like uh bind her up or something and just get a complete master set. So are these just gonna be comments here just like the other ones? So actually there's no reason to check this uh back part here, right? So I imagine once uh, once you get up to to the comments, we'll probably just not bother checking the rest here. So so, so I guess we get our one foil here. So the foil could also be rare. And we get the what? Cavalet, the profiteering mayor, the human advisor. Interesting. And then we also get a second rare, right? The Archmage's Charm. 
So that's a pretty good artwork. Oh, it's kind of like a, a like a, a cat or what is that? The cryptic kebab. Yeah, the cryptic kebab that's over there. That's insane. You could choose one, except the other one, you could choose two of them. Gain control target. Oh, you can draw two cards or you counter spell. It's there. So that's actually pretty good, right? We get uh, two rares just because there's like two different sets at least in here. So we get the art card, which I which I imagine is just going to be like uh, art of one of the actual cards of the game here. They get the uncommon foil. Oh, they make you the uncommon hindering light. Yeah, cause this one was so good. I, th I think that we have like the original version of this one. From LRO Reborn, counter target spell, draw a card. So it's so good because you get to draw your card back. Oh, then we get a mythic, the final showdown here. Okay, so we already get a mythic. Then imagine these are just going to be the end comments here. So what we're going to do is uh, later once you go through, then eventually, should we just have like a comments and uncomments pile here? Oh, but essentially. Our first mythic, the at all showdown. Oh, it just cost one mana. That's it. Interesting. All creatures lose all abilities. <clears throat> it gets indestructible. Destroy all creatures. Oh, it's it's this spell. I thought it was a creature for a sec. Destroy all creatures. So if somebody thinks this could do. Spree. Oh, choose one or more additional. Oh, you can do any of them. That's such a powerful card. So we get the token, then the lad, then the common foil here. Fling. Oh, Fling, is it a, has it always been an uncommon? Maybe, maybe it has been. Oh, then we get a mythic. Then the uncommons here, right? There's just three uncommons. Oh, so it's kind of like the, kind of like the uh, blue barrel, right? You're, you're, you're getting like uh, three to four uncommons by the looks of it. Uh, so we already got two mythics. Death touch. One one. Oh, he just cost one mana to play him. Yeah, we just started. We already got like uh, two mythics, two rares. Oh, then we get a foil. Oh, a foil lad here. Interesting. How, how do we get two foils? Why is there two foils this one pack? Two foils, one pack? That's insane. Two foils, one pack. How did that happen? And then the Benable Rare. Oh, and here's the special guest, right? Because this is why it's so good. Because you get the special guest and everything. There's three different rares in this one pack. Two, three uncommons. Oh, four uncommons. Why is there four uncommons? Insane. Two rares, one mythic special guest. So I guess that's what the uh, Blue Burrow's missing, right? Because Blue Burrow. Uh, you're getting at zero to one special guest, but here you're supposed to get like uh, six of them, right? So that's just like six additional ethics for free. One ethic, two rares. Wow, that's ridiculous. And it's from like three different sets, three different sets. That's pretty cool. Three different sets. So it's like the uh, the best thing ever. Oh, so it's uh. So I guess the basic lag could be replaced with like a foil lad or something. Maybe maybe that's what happened there. So that's cool. You could get up to like uh, two foils per pack here. They get like uh, one, one of these per pack. They get the rare. Then a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of uncommons here. Three uncommons. Yeah, we've got three uncommons that pack. And one rare. Yeah, it's so, so much better than Blue Burrow, right? Cause Blue Burrow just like uh, one rare, that's it. So you get the foil. The lad, uh, the rare. Oh, the two rares, right? Two rares. So it seems to, see, see, you seem to get like uh, two rares per pack. At least two rares per pack. Three on comments here. Ah, uh, the comments, maybe? The, the tokens, the lads, and everything. So we're gonna have to figure this out, right? We only got like a uh, wide art card here. So these like uh, comments and on comments. So I guess we got everything organized here, right? We got all the comments here, all the other comments. Then eventually we'll go through them. Then we got the foils, and then the lads and tokens, and the uh, rares and the mythic rares. 
All right. That's insane. Two rares per pack on average, I think. Uh, we just opened... Uh, what? Oh, we have three Mythics, so we just opened six packs? That's a Mythic every two packs. Okay, let's open up the next six. All right, let's check out the next six packs. That's insane. Like, uh... Mythic one and two packs, plus, plus get like all the other rares and everything. Well, I guess these are just our comments over here. We get our token, and then we get our lad, which I guess the lad could be a foil lad. Maybe it's like one in every five or something. Just like the play booster. So there's the common foil, journey to nowhere. Okay, so the, the, these things are actually pretty cool. The, well, whatever, whatever they are. So you get a uh, one rare, right? So, this is pretty much exactly what happened in the uh, blue barrel. That's it. You just get one rare. Then you open the next pack. And they just get one rare. You open the next pack. And they just get one rare. Here, we open one rare. And I bet you the next pack is just going to be a whole bunch of things, right? Oh, yeah. So, we use... So, it looks like it does replace it, right? I think it's like blue barrel. One in every five packs. Looks like you get a foil lab. So you get like a, up to two in here. Uncommon foil. Clear shot. Uh, uncommon. <laughs> then we get the rare. They get like uh, three uncommons here. So the uh, Lava Spur Boots, right? Is the Lava Spur Boots really good? I think, we, I think we've seen somebody talk about the Lava Spur Boots. Because I know that the commons and the uncommons, they could probably be good too. There, there could, could be some good ones. So guess who's got like a one rare two times in a row? It's starting to feel like a blue barrel. So we got the uh, token. Then we got the lad. Oh, then we get a rare foil. All right. So you actually get a rare foil here. Uncommon. And then the rare. And the comments and uncommons. One, two, three. So he's got three. Three uncommons. Then a bunch of uncommons, maybe. Then a rare, and then a foil rare. Okay. Big of the Horde Master. So we're, 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 we're not going to be checking prices or anything. Like, I know eventually, once we actually get all these, like, uh, open and everything, we get them all organized and everything, then we'll be checking prices. Since we get the lab, the token, the foil, then this is going to be like, uh, we haven't, haven't seen a common one of these, have we? Is it just uh, uncommon and rare? That's it. Oh, here's the special guest. Okay. So we get the special guest and then a rare. Then what? One, two, three. Four, uh, four uncommons here. Okay. So the special guest came in. So that's interesting, right? With the blue barrel, you'd see a special guest like uh, one in every two boxes. Because the special guest came in. This would just be a one regular rare pack, but because he's here, it's actually a regular rare than a mythic pack. The pass control. Insane. So they weren't lying. The videos were actually. Oh wait a minute. Why are they different? Cause it this one right. It's a different. It's a different set symbol. Cause the these are these ones right. Is there like uh two different special guest set? This is the same set symbol from the uh, new set. Oh, it's interesting. Why is there so many different sets? Why is there so many different sets in this one set? This is like well, one of the uh, best sets ever, I would think. Or at least one of the best that we opened so far here. So you get the token, the plates, or I guess it's a art card here. Uncommon. Then we get the rare. Then one, two, three. Yes, yeah, three uncommons. Three to four uncommons. We're not sure, not sure about the comments and everything. Well, I wonder if uh, we go through here, somewhere hidden in the comments, there, there's going to be something, right? Actually, we never even, we never even uh, check them anymore. So essentially, we get one rare. It's going to be interesting to actually get all these, like, uh, bindered up or something if we eventually, that she decided to just, uh, put them in a binder. And then we can actually look at all of them, see which ones are actually missing here. Now. Oh, there's a wanted poster. We watched somebody, watched somebody open, a, like, one of these recently, and we see that he got so many things, right? We get a rare. Then the wanted poster rare. Oh, we get three rares in one pack. 
three rares, one pack. One, two, three. Three uncommons. Commons. Three rares, one pack. That's insane. All three rares, one pack. Three different sets. Like, I guess these two are kind of from the same set. Well, no, they have to be a different type of set, right? Three different rares, one pack. Outlaw Trucks is amazing. Especially compared to Blue Burrow. Especially compared to that thing. Opening last thing. <laughs> might, might as well just open up the uh, drop packs here. So I guess I put this up here or something. They've got like uh, these rares. Then these are just like uh, uh, comments here. They've yeah, got like so many things. They're just like uh, 12 packs here. We've got like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 mythics and 12 packs. Oh, so many things. All right, so look, um, we're probably not gonna be opening up the rest of the boost box. I felt like after opening up uh, this, I kind of felt like we opened up like an entire boost box or something else, or at least half the boost box. We got like sixteen rares and like twelve packs, and then we got like four mythics, from, like uh, three different sets, three different sets. So many things, so much value in this uh, thing. But essentially, we, we, we've been, like, uh, sorting these here. Like, uh, all these anime cards. I think we sorted, like, uh, two, 2,000 of them over the past few days. And we had these ones. It's like, we, we sorted these by set here. So we still do have, like, another, I don't know, 1,000. Maybe we still have, like, another 1,000 anime cards here. They're sort of by set, so all we have to do is just like uh, get all the duplicates together, put them in here, then uh, maybe, maybe put them in uh, binders or something so we actually look at all of them. Oh, then we still have to sort all these things. Uh, there's also also some more like uh, random cards up here and everything, right? So, so maybe, maybe there's still just like uh, 2,000 left to sort, that's it. Then like uh, all the anime cards actually be sorted here. And then after that, we'd probably be going to to like the other card games. It's like we do have these up here, right? Like these uh Pokemon cards. And all these random things. There's like uh more more cards over here. Oh yeah, we still have all these uh, foils and everything. We still have to still have to try straight out these foils. We still never still never got around to it. They have like uh all these foils in these cases up here. Yeah, all those boxes and everything. But then all these we have to organize here. So we're actually just about to organize all the anime cards. That's actually pretty good. Then once that's done, then, yeah, just be doing the magic and everything here. And then eventually we finish opening the rest of the box. Yeah, was, uh, I love it's Thunder Junks. It's a uh, pretty good set, I think. So many mythics and so many rares and so few packs.